Right guys, welcome back. I did promise you we were going to uh, have a look at some ball gouges today. So uh, here we go. First off, I've got this. I refer to this gouge as the beast. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Um, basically, it's a Robert Sorby three quarter inch gouge, which is mammoth. And the handle is a Kel McNaughton handle. This thing's got away for no more, maybe five, six pound. Um, the gouge actually is a little bit too big for normal work. I only use this gouge for <clears throat> really big, gnarly, knotty, out of balance timber. You know the kind of timber that, that makes you the gouges bounce all over the place? Well, this is where this thing comes in. This handle weighs a ton compared to normal handles. It's all steel. Really is a hefty piece of kit. If you wanted to murder somebody, this would be a good handle to eat them with. And because of that, the weight if you've got a really out of shape, awkward piece of wood, because of the weight, it dampens that shock, stops the handle from kicking up, you know, and misbehaving. As I say, I only use it for that particular use until I can uh, get the wood to start behaving a little bit more, and then I'll move on to a smaller gouge. The gouge, as I said, there's a little bit too much steel on wood. It creates a lot of friction and consequently it's a little bit hard to control. Uh, that's why I put it into this handle. This handle tames it a little bit. But other than that it doesn't uh, get a great deal of use. Right, we'll move on to the next one. I just wanted to show you that one. It doesn't get a great deal of use, but when I do use it, it does the job. Right. This is a gouge I wanted to show you. Made by Crown in Sheffield, England. It's made from that powdered metal. You know, it's a, it's a metal in powdered form that they put into a die and then uh, press it using tons and tons and tons and tons of pressure and heat and the metal actually sinters itself together and they then mill it. I heard great reports of this thing in the wood turning magazines so I thought yes you know they were telling me uh, well, Crown says it, it lasts two to three, four times longer, up to five times longer, keeps an edge five times longer. I thought, great stuff, you know. And basically I bought one. And does it? No, it doesn't. What a letdown. Does it keep its edge longer than normal M2 steel? Yes. Does it keep its edge longer than M2 steel? you know, twice as long. No. I would say it keeps its edge 25% longer, if that. Bit of a letdown. Um, not cheap either. It does have one redeeming feature though. The handle. The handle is probably the most comfy handle I've ever come across. <laughs> it's just I don't know, when you pick up this gouge it just feels right. You know, this handle's brilliant. In fact, I've actually copied the handle several times, which you'll see in, uh, you'll see a little bit later on. But the actual cutting, the actual cutting part, no, don't recommend it. It's overpriced. Rather than uh, buy one of these from Crown, I would much rather, or should I say, much more recommend these Robert Sorby Sovereigns. Uh, are they sovereign? 
yeah. Yeah, I think they're called Sovereign, aren't they? Um, basically, it's M2 steel that's coated with titanium nitrite. And uh, do these last longer? Yes. At first, I thought, yeah, it'll be a bit of a gimmick, you know, it's just to make them look nice. Which they do look nice, by the way. They look really tricked, don't they? Got to admit. But I thought, oh, it'll just be a bit of a, a gimmick, you know. But no, they actually do last longer. Um, does it last three times longer? No. Does it last two times longer? No. But I'll tell you something, it's getting on there. Um, it doesn't last two times longer, but I would say it's seventy-five percent longer. It really does work, and each time you sharpen it, you know a lot of people think, "Oh, it's only on the on the outside." You know, the steel's no harder. It's only on the outside. Well, yeah, that's true. But you, what you got to remember is, every time you sharpen that, you're getting a fresh edge of titanium nitride. So. That's how it works. And they really do work. And being Robert Sorby, excellent quality. Brilliant. Their heat treatment is second to none. I really do. I, I'm really in love with Robert Sorby and uh, Henry Taylor. Two, two uh, firms that's been around for hundreds of years in uh, Sheffield, England. Basically... By now, they know what they're doing. You can't go much wrong with them. And you know the black handle you just had a look at? Well, it was that nice. I copied it. This is... Uh, oh, what is it now? Uh, I think it's hickory. I think. Yeah, pretty sure it is. And it, uh, again just sits in your hand beautifully and it's nice and long this is a what is it now, 5 8 I think this gouge I know you guys in America you uh, measure your gouges slightly different but in, in the UK this is classed as a 5 8 gouge um, works really well very very happy with it very very happy with, with the whole I bought a whole set of these uh, sovereign gouges now I've got the 5.8s, I've got the uh, half inch and quarter inch. Hang on. Here we go. Where are we? There's a 5 inch. Uh, half inch. Yeah, half inch. Uh, I bought this one handled. In fact, I think this one was the first one I bought. And I bought it handled. Then, fr from then on, I just buy I just buy the uh, the actual blades and make my own handles. They just feel better. But they work really well. Highly, highly, highly recommend these things. It's not a gimmick. It really does last longer. It keeps an edge longer. It really does. I've been using them well over twelve months now. So uh, I can say hand on heart, they do really work well they'll last they'll keep an edge longer than normal m2 steel significantly longer uh, they are more expensive but you know over the lifetime of the gouge you're not going to be sharpening it as often so it probably works out roughly the same price as m2 steel but you're not having to go to the grinder as frequently Right, next, what shall we have a look at? Oh, this thing. This is one of my favourite gouges as well. It's the Mike Mahoney signature gouge. I didn't buy it because it had got his, uh, his grind on it at all. What I was after was the steel. This thing's made out of... Uh, I don't know if you can see it. ASP high speed steel 2060 steel. Does this thing last longer? Oh yes. Significantly longer. 
Um, does it last twice as long? Yes. Three times as long? Nearly. It's a very, very tough steel. Highly recommend this stuff. It's not cheap, far from it, but it's worth it to me. My problem is I have a tiny, tiny little workshop. You'll have probably seen it from past videos. Uh, it's a tiny little place and I have nowhere to keep a grinder out all the time. So basically, I usually, uh, I, I usually have a sharpening day once a week. Uh, and this cuts down on that. It, uh, it really does hold an edge far, far longer than M2 steel. Really does. Highly, highly, highly recommended. Made by Henry Taylor, who are again in Sheffield, England. They've been producing steel in Sheffield for nigh on a thousand years. By now, they know what they're doing. Henry Taylor, they're a trusted, excellent brand. Henry Taylor and Robert Sorby are my two favourites. I know you guys in the in the US <coughs> have got uh, a few workshops over in the US that are making tools now. Unfortunately, they're not really available in the UK. So, we, uh, I tend to stick with Robert Sorby and Henry Taylor. I've tried Crown before and I'm not impressed with Crown at all. I don't know whether, I mean, they use M2 steel, it's the same kind of steel, but it must be their heat treatment process or the tempering process. It just doesn't hold an edge like Henry Taylor or Robert Sorby. Highly recommend this stuff. Again, as I said, if you didn't hear it the first time, it's ASP High Speed Steel 2060. 2060. Really is hard steel. Tough stuff. Brilliant gouge. Highly, highly, highly recommended. Right, guys. <clears throat> I'm going to take a break here because my batteries are all but run out. Next video we'll carry on with gouges. Uh, we may also throw in a couple of spindle gouges as well. Right, catch you in a bit. Thanks for uh, thanks for uh, joining me again. Bye.